All right, so in this video, I'm going to show how to set up one of these Ryobi motors to work for a drive system. So for that, it's going to need to have a forward and reverse control as well as a throttle control. Now to do that, you cannot use the old factory controller. They don't offer that function. They were just made for a lawnmower, so it was just made to spin one way and at a fixed speed. So what I use is one of these e-bike controllers. This one's a best parts brushless DC uh, motor speed controller. Uh, I've bought several of them and I've had good success with them. I do always make sure I get one that says it's for 36 to 48 volts. Some of them say 36 slash 48 volts, and I don't know if that means one or the other. They may work just fine too, but I've had good success with these ones. I get a 1,000 watt units since they tend to be a little bigger and cool better. Uh, I've heard you only need 750 watts for these, so you may be able to use that. Um, anyway, so I've just crudely wired this up to demonstrate it. This is a battery charger, which I just took the guts out of it and hooked up the hot and ground wires, ran them to, these are your hot and ground leads. I'll include a wiring diagram from this controller in the uh, description in the video. I've got a battery set here to use. Now a lot of these wires you're not going to have to connect them. You do have to connect these three main ones. Move some of that out of the way better. You're going to need to hook up the uh, yellow, blue, and green wire, which they go to the corresponding wires down here on the motor. You can't see it because I've stripped them back so far, but there's a yellow, uh, green, and blue wire there. Uh, the other thing you'll need to make it work is a throttle of some sort. Uh, this is your throttle wire setup, and all you do is match the colors, black to black, green to green, red to red, uh, I've got a foot pedal. There's lots of different types of controls depending on your project. For the lawnmower, the foot control seems to work really well. Uh, this is not the correct way to hook it up, but I just did this to show you. This is for the forward reverse system. All it's doing is connecting the two wires or disconnecting them. So an on or off switch is all you're using. On or off, it basically means forward, or I'm sorry, reversing on or reverse off. So off would mean forward. Uh, there's also a wire here. I'll demonstrate this later. These two wires, the white wires, are to calibrate the motor. And what you do is, after you've got the power plugged into it, you connect these wires, and it determines the motor, sp the motor uh, direction. If your motor is spinning the wrong direction for your project, rather than using the forward reverse for it, you can simply plug these wires in and unplug them and it'll program the motor to go the opposite direction. So let me demonstrate some of these things. First we're going to get power here. Okay. By the way, there's also a small red wire on there. It shows it in the directions when you buy these controllers. But there's a small red wire that is used for like a key switch. So it has to be connected to your hotline as well to work. So you could do it with a key, you could make it permanently on, depends on your projects what you're going to need to do. So the way I have it right now, I've got it in off, which would be forward. And if I push this, there goes my motor. Speed control, and it's got a lot of torque if you don't hang on to it. Now, if I don't like the way that's turning, as you can see, it's turning that direction right now. If I wanted it to turn the other way, you would, if you want to set the other direction as forward, you simply connect this. And now which way is it going? Give it a little throttle. Now it's going that direction as forward. If you messed up, just plug it in again. Now it's going this way. So, now I can also control reverse. Once you've established what your forward direction is, this will now be your reverse switch. Now it's going this way. 
Now it's going that way. Uh, now the one thing is, your top speed is not as high in reverse. They set it up so that it's like a car or a lot of things. So if you go ahead and, it, you know, if you were to just try to use the reverse switch instead of doing the thing with the training wires, it would make it so you would have the opposite. It would be fast in reverse and slow in forward. So you don't want to do that. Uh, there are some other wires. I did not bother to demonstrate hooking this up, but this little bundle here allows you to have a three-speed switch, which I've done on my tractor. And it... Uh, Depending on which order you connect them, uh, I'll show it on the picture here. Uh, but this three-wire setup will allow you to choose low, medium, or high top speed. Uh, works good on the tractor, again, because then you can just set it to, like, when you're mowing, just put it on low, and then just give it full throttle, and it'll be fine. But when you're just driving around the yard, then you want it on medium or high. Uh, most of the wires with a... Like these wires are, I believe, for the security system. Um, this is for the hall sensor. So some of these are not going to be used. This motor doesn't have a hall sensor. Uh, there's also a braking line. One's a low brake, I think is this one. And this one over here is high braking. Um, I have not tested that yet, but you're supposed to be able to connect that with like a momentary contact switch so that it will turn... The motor off when you touch the brakes and this is an instrument line many of these you're not going to use but depending on your individual setup you might so hopefully this explains it better but as far as i know there's no way to make it so you can use the original factory controller to reverse these motors if someone else figures out about it i'd love to hear about it but i do not know of a way so anyway i hope this proves helpful for your projects